Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C demo series. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to deploy the JVM Diagnostics Manager and the ADP Manager in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Application Dependency and Performance, or ADP, and JVM Diagnostics provide additional depth for diagnosing problems and tuning performance in Java and Oracle Fusion middleware applications. Both the ADP and JVM Diagnostics managers collect additional deep dive data using their own agents from within the JVMs of the monitored application servers. The data is then made available for you to see in Enterprise Manager. From any page in Enterprise Manager, go to Setup, Middleware Diagnostics. From this page, you can deploy both ADP Managers as well as JVM Diagnostics Managers. Let's deploy a JVM Diagnostics Manager by clicking this link. On this deployment page, we have two options. We can create a managed server and deploy the JVM Diagnostics Manager to the new server, or we can deploy onto an existing managed server. If we choose to deploy onto an existing managed server, that server must exist within the Enterprise Manager domain. Let's create a new managed server. The host drop-down list shows hosts that have OMS installed. This is because you can only deploy a JVM Diagnostics Manager to a host where OMS exists. In this case, there is only one host, so we'll accept that. The managed server name defaults to what you see here. If a managed server already exists with this name, the final number increments automatically until it finds an unused name. As this is the first managed server, we'll accept the default. Likewise, the default managed server listen port will increment automatically for that particular host. Underneath the covers is doing tests to see which ports are available. We'll accept the default for that and also for the managed server SSL listen port. Now let's complete the credentials section. We need two credentials for deployment. We need the credentials for the host where the OMS server is located. This is so we can have the EM agent run the deployment job for us. And we also need the credentials for the WebLogic domain itself to make the underlying WLST calls to create the managed server or modify the existing managed server. Let's expand this OMS host credentials section. And we'll create new credentials. We'll enter the username and the password. Now let's set the WebLogic domain credentials and we'll create new credentials. We'll enter the administrator username and the administrator password. Now that we've entered all the information, we'll go back to the top of the page and we'll click this deploy button. The job is submitted and now we see this Deployment Status page. If we click this link here, we can see the status of the job. On this page, you can see that prerequisite checks are made to ensure that the ports are open and available from the OMS. Then it creates the stage directory. Then it copies the JVM Diagnostics Manager and starts the managed server. Let's refresh the page and we can see the job succeeded. Now back on the Middleware Diagnostics page, we can confirm that the JVM Diagnostics Manager was deployed. We can see that its status is up, so we know the OMS can talk to the manager. So that's it for deploying a JVM Diagnostics Manager. Now we'll look at deploying an ADP Manager. From the Middleware Diagnostics page, we'll select Deploy ADP Manager. 
On this deployment page, you have the two options to either create a managed server or deploy onto an existing managed server. Like with deploying the JVM Diagnostics Manager, you can only create a managed server on a host where OMS exists. And if you're going to deploy on an existing managed server, it must be a managed server within the Enterprise Manager domain. In 12G, the ADP Manager runs inside a WebLogic managed server. Let's create a new managed server. The host drop-down list shows the hosts that have OMS installed. In this case, there is only one host, so we'll accept that. The Manage Server name defaults to what you see here. Like with JVM Diagnostics Manager deployment, the final number increments automatically until it finds an unused name. As this is the first managed server, we'll accept the default. And we'll accept the default listen port and the default SSL listen port and for ADP, there's also the ADP Manager Registry port, the ADP Manager Java Provider port, and the ADP Manager Controller port. These three ports are also incremented according to Oracle Best Practices. The Deployment Wizard automatically checks that these ports are open and available from the OMS. Now let's complete the Credentials section. Here we need the same credentials as the JVM Diagnostics Manager. We need the host credentials for the WebLogic Administration Server and the credentials for the WebLogic domain in order to log in. So let's create new credentials for the Administration Server. We'll enter the username and the password. Now let's set the WebLogic domain credentials. We'll select New and enter the administrator username and the password. Now that we've entered all the information, we'll go back to the top of the page and click Deploy. The job is submitted and we now see this deployment status page. If we click this link, we can see the status of the job. Here you see the job performs the different operations necessary in order to deploy and register the ADP Manager. Let's refresh the page. In 11G, registration was a separate step, but here it is automated along with deployment. And you can see that the status is succeeded, so the ADP Manager has been deployed and registered. Back on the Middleware Diagnostics page, we can confirm that the ADP Manager was deployed. We can see that the status is up, so we know that the OMS can talk to the ADP Manager. So that's it for deploying an ADP Manager. After deploying the ADP and JVM Diagnostics Managers, you need to refresh the WebLogic domain where the managers were deployed. To do so, from the Domain Home page, go to the WebLogic Domain menu and select Refresh WebLogic Domain. Thanks for watching this demonstration.